Hi guys, good morning. Jan here and welcome to The Present. Today I just want to expound what I what I posted like I think a week ago. It's all about the build um build your asset column and it's a lesson that I learned from Robert Kiyosaki from his audiobook and book Rich Dad Poor Dad. So I've been reading this book I think like more than 5 times already and it really it really has a lot of um help in terms of our financial conditions so I just want to expand on that here we go so when we say build your asset column um, the definition of asset is simply put it's putting money into your pocket so basically when you spend on something that something will eventually put money into your pocket right and examples of the, these are like businesses like for example if you're going to buy a house and then you're going to have that house rented out someone's going to stay there and that person is going to pay you rent on a monthly basis on, or on a quarterly basis depending on your negotiation or your agreement that house is an asset because you bought that house you have it rented out and then that person is paying you money so um, that's that's like a real estate business another one is an actual business for example um, let's talk about small business like if you have a small coffee shop you invested money in that coffee shop you bought like coffee machines and then you 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 have a place you have a store and then people are coming in customers are paying and then money is putting is getting into your pocket and that's a small business another kind of business is like the big business for example like apple they are creating um iphones or or macbooks or um, machines right and then when they put it out there to the market, the market is going to subscribe or purchase the product like the iPhone or the MacBook and then they're going to earn money. So that's like big business because they're talking about like billions or millions. Um, another way is like um, paper assets or portfolio. This is, this is like the stock market, right? Like when you, when you put money into the, into the stock market and then eventually the price is going to go up and then your amount let's say it's going to be 5000 pesos yes you can start investing in a stock market with 5000 pesos and then eventually the business that you invested in so you're like a part owner of that business increases in terms of value and then your money also increases in terms of value so that's money putting into your pocket that's another asset another kind of asset is a mutual fund so this is like um AXA or Pru Life or Manual Life or Sun, Sun Life, these companies they offer you insurance with a mutual fund. So the difference between a mutual fund and the stock market is that, I mean, it's the same thing. The money is getting into the stock market. The difference is that when you when you invest in a mutual fund, you're also investing with a person or to a person who manages your stocks. Unlike if you're directly investing into the stock market, you're the decision maker. You decide where to put the money right so those are examples of assets right but the common thing from what I mentioned is that you have to put money so that money will also grow um, there's I th uh, we believe and which is mentioned by Robert Kiyosaki as well from his rich dad um, lesson to him if you don't have money you can still earn money why because our brain is the greatest asset of all our brain when we train our brain to understand things to think in a different perspective to think bigger eventually our brain can make decisions so that we can get we can gain assets like real um, tangible assets like real estate business stock market and those things right our brain is the starting point it has to have a good foundation in order for us to understand how asset works and how we can use it to our advantage so when we say build your asset column, if you don't have the money yet, you have to understand that our brain is the greatest asset. If you're in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s, we have to learn more so that we can somehow earn more in the future. And then these things will just follow, right? But we need to start with a great foundation, which is our brain. So that's what I meant when it comes to build your asset column. I hope this video um, explains what I meant from that post and um, comment like and share thank you